Wax slug versus microwave. Will it go through? Go ahead. Now, I'm sure you didn't see anything unusual in that first shot, but we probably couldn't repeat this if we fired a million of these at, the, at a microwave and tried to repeat it. The power wad actually followed the wax slug into the microwave. Normally, the shot cup and the power wad will fly off erratically in different directions. Since these parts of the, of the wadding are so light and not very aerodynamic, it's, it's kind of unusual that something like this would happen. This is what a federal two-piece wadding looks like. This is the power wad, and this is what flew through that hole created by the wax slug in the microwave. It's, it's very light. It should not fly straight at all. It is actually flying quite a bit slower by the time it reached the microwave than the wax slug. And this, is, this shows you the path of the wax slug and the power wad as it went through this microwave oven. Ah, I can't even get your microwave. <laughs> Don't make them pull a Zimmerman on your own. <laughs>